Hi, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising. Also, if you're a Leo uh, Venus or a Leo Mars in your natal chart, this would be a good reading for you. Leo Mars, if you're a male. Leo Venus, if you're a female. Also, if you're a Leo Moon. This would be a good reading for you as it relates to your emotional life and love life in its entirety. All right. Thank you so much for all of your likes, your shares, your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. For those of you that have donated to my channel, thank you so much. It is greatly appreciated. Please keep the comments coming. I read all of them and I will be responding to them after I get these last two videos posted. For those of you that don't know, I did have a scammer and I posted a video about four or five days ago relating to that. For those of you that um, turned that scammer in, I certainly do appreciate it. Of course, I meditated on it and I asked Universe to uh, protect my videos and to take care in whatever way it sees fit to those people that continually think that they can steal others' videos and um, create traffic on their channels. Uh, if you would like a video or if you would like a reading with me, you can go to www.psychicsoundsbyb.com and you can click on the scheduling tab. Also, open up the uh, calendars. I have my uh, schedule uh, of calendars uh, on my website as well, right below the PayPal button. And uh, give me three dates when you send me that email. That way we can get you scheduled as soon as possible. It takes one to four days for me to get back to you as it relates to a reading request, and it could take as much as one month to two months after that particular email interaction for you to be scheduled and get a reading from me um, as it relates to that particular communication. All right, Leos, let's go ahead and let's get started. The sun is in your third house of communication, siblings, short distance travel, contracts, negotiations, social media, Leos, the sun is here until the 23rd. There is something being illuminated for you in this particular area of your life. Please make sure that you are being as judicious as possible as it relates to these particular areas of your life. And it is being illuminated for you to be able to make a decision moving forward. Mars is in your sixth house of health and workaday duties. With Mars here, um, it is giving you... Uh, aggression and passion in these areas of your life. Please make sure that you move more towards the passionate side as opposed to the aggressive side. Please also understand that there might be aggressive people around you as it relates to your workaday duties and your health as well. Uh, with Mars in your health sphere, this could also give you more oomph as it relates to your workouts. So your metabolism might be going up. You may be getting heat or hot flashes or you may be getting um you might be hot at night when you go to bed so just be aware of that uh venus is in your fourth house and it is going into your fifth house uh venus in your fourth house is giving you love uh, compassion kindness small financial gain as it relates to your domicile your family your your home your core values who you are at a core level all right and with Venus here, it's bringing love, abundance, and kindness, and again, small financial gain. Then after the 19th of October, it moves into Sagittarius, and for you, this is in your fifth house. So with it being in your fifth house of romance, children, and creativity, and also in some cases, pets. Pets do um, sometimes come in when you have activity in your fifth house and your sixth house. They tend to ride both of those houses for whatever reason. So... Um, that could be something where you're, you are also getting amorous types of uh, activities as well as um, love and harmony and potentially small financial gain. So for some of you Leos out there, you might have a significant other that is getting a new job and their income is increasing and this affects you in a positive way. Jupiter is in your third house of communication, short distance travel, siblings, social media, this could be expanding in your life at the present time for whatever reason. Jupiter also brings its blessings and Jupiter protects this particular area. So just remember, 
um, you do not want to lend any type of aggression towards these areas of your life because Jupiter is protecting this particular situation or the people surrounding this situation. Very important for you to understand. Um, Pluto is direct in your sixth house as it relates to your health and your workaday duties. There's a lot of transformation going on in your workaday duties as well. And if I did not mention it before, um, this is also for Leo Cuspers. So if you're a Cancer Leo or if you're a Leo Virgo, also listen to both of those signs as well as it relates to your particular date of birth. Mercury is in your 12th house and it will are in your second house and it will be going into your third house. So as it relates to this, um, you have communication as it relates to the money you make from the business you own, the money you make from the business you work for, or your self-value. There's a lot of communication in this particular area of your life and movement as well. And then it moves into your, thir your third house of communication, short distance travel, contracts, negotiation. There is now going to be communication after the eighth as it relates to these areas of your life, siblings as well. So there could be communications from you, communications coming to you, communications with the people around you as it relates to um, contracts, negotiations, social media, those types of instances. The new moon is in Libra on September 30th, which was yesterday. And so now you have 10 days to set your intentions for what you want in your third house of communications, short distance travel, siblings, um, the neighborhood even, um, social media, contracts, negotiations, okay? So set your intentions for what you want, not for what you don't want. Then it moves into your fourth house of home, family, um, who you are at a core level. So really set your intentions for what it is you would like to create in this area of your life. The full moon is on October 16th, and for you, this is in Aries, and this is in the ninth house of legal law, people politica, um, what else? The occult, spirituality, uh, foreign people, foreign lands, foreign thoughts, things that you didn't think even existed, okay, that really do exist. And also um, travel, like uh, huge amounts of travel. So in this particular area of your life, there's something culminating, climaxing, or coming to an end as it relates to this particular area of your life. All right, Leos, what have we got going on for your tarot reading? What are the general energies for Leos? Guys, I'm trying to make these readings just a little bit shorter. They're taking a very long time to upload, so I have to do this. And I'm doing this during the weekend, during my free time. And um, I've been telling people, and I don't know why I'm telling people this, but I just want to let you know that you know, if you have a full-time job and then you have maybe a part-time job or something like that, make sure that you get it you get documentation through your own HR department to do your part-time job on your free time. Okay, this is very important for you to understand what you can and you cannot do during working hours and where it is that your own time is your own time. Um, I just want to put that out there for those of you that don't understand because it's very important for you to get your I's dotted, your T's crossed as it relates to these particular areas of your life. I know I have done it, so I have got plenty of documentation through my HR department to do this because this is, you know, a part-time job and this is my part-time business, um, but I have obligations that I must meet with my full-time job as well, so I had to get documentation with that. So however that applies to you, um, I don't know why um, I'm saying that right now, but I just want to make sure that you guys are aware of that. Okay, so get the proper documentation if you need to get it, if it applies to you. So what do we have for the general energies, Leos? Here's your general energies. What do we have for your work-life, financial life, Leos? Work-life, financial life. Work-life, financial life. No. Nope. 
work life and financial life for Leos. Please show me work life and financial life for Leos. Work life and financial life. Is that one it? Okay, there's your work life, financial life. What do we have going on for your emotional life and love life? Emotional life and love life, Leos. Emotional life and love life. Here's your emotional life and love life. What do we have going on for your health, Leos? What's your general health like? There's your general health. All right, Leos, what do we have going on for your spiritual advice? Here's your spiritual advice. What do we have going on for your challenge? This is something that must be addressed, Leos. What is your challenge? What is your challenge? Nope. There it is. There's your challenge, Leos. All right, so what's your Archangel Guidance, Leos? Archangel Guidance. There it is. There's your Archangel Guidance. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and let's get started. What are the general energies for the Leos out there for the month of October of 2016? Leos, your energy is the magician. And the magician is all about creating something from nothing. Okay? The magician is also the trickster. There could be energies around you where people are trying to manipulate a situation, coerce you in some way, trying to get you on their side, when in fact their particular side is nefarious, maybe even in some cases like evil, okay? So just be aware that that energy is out there for some of you Leos. Um, this is also um, manifesting what it is you want, as above, so below. So what do you want, Leos? What do you want to create in your life? What do you want to have happen in your life? This is also Geminian energy. This is also Capricornian energy as well. So please make sure that what it is that you want to create, what it is that you're thinking about up, you know, in, in the universe, in the, in the ethers, every, your thought creates your reality, okay? So just be aware that you have all the tools necessary and all the truth necessary for you to take appropriate action in whatever way it serves you and those around you for the good of yourself as well as the good of all. So what do we have as it relates to your work life and your financial life? Leos, with your work life and financial life, you have the temperance card. The temperance card has everything to do with finding the appropriate balance. There has been an imbalance in your work life and financial life. And so now what you're trying to do is you're trying to mix things and get things back into harmony. Create the synthesis so that everybody is focused on the same goal, the same focus, the same vision, okay? For some of you Leos out there, you might be traveling for work for whatever reason. You might be for some reason as it relates to work that you are doing or maybe work that a spouse is doing or a significant other, they may be moving um, or they may be going towards a body of water, okay, Leo? So there could be significance as it relates maybe to the East Coast, uh, the West Coast or the real South Coast as well. So, so just be aware that that energy is coming through for whatever reason. And this is going to be really promising for you for whatever reason. But the thing is, is you've got to make sure that you're very balanced in this particular area of your life. For those Leos out there, you are trying to balance your budget for sure. Uh, other Leos out there, you are trying to create... Um, synthesis as it relates to integration with a project at work. Uh, for other Leos out there, you might be mixing and matching specific types of investments that you have going on at the present time. For those of you out there that are looking for a job, you've got to be really patient. There might be a delay as it relates to the, um, the response that you're going to get from uh, a potential employer. Okay, so just be aware that that energy is there. For some of you Leos out there, you might be a chemist. Okay, so um, you're, you're mixing, you know, everything uh, at work. For some of you Leos out there, you might actually be mixing your protein drinks at work. 
for whatever reason. I don't know why that came out, but, you know, it, it is what it is. And for others of you, Leos, you might like to be, um, as it relates to work, maybe you're a bartender or maybe you, you mix drinks for a living for whatever reason or you mix something. You could even be a chef, okay, Leos? So this could be what's going on for some of you out there. But there is a new path as it relates to a new beginning with finances and work, okay? So just be aware of that. So what do we have going on for your emotional life and love life, Leos? Leos, for your emotional life and love life, you have the Three of Swords. This is interesting. This is the same energy that was coming through with the Cancerian. So there might be a Cancerian Leo type of cusper energy going on here. Uh, emotional life and love life for Leos, I'm going to be honest with you, there's a separation. So for some of you Leos out there, as I was stating before, you might have a significant other that gets a job in another state. You might get, you might have a significant other or a partner that um, they need to travel for work a lot because they are the ones that are creating massive manifestation in their life right now. But the thing about it is, Leos, what you need to be aware of is that um, this is all kind of in the head. This is all kind of, you know, manifesting in a way that it just, it, 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 it gives you uh, that time for pause to really appreciate and kind of maybe even go back into your past and realize, how did I manifest this situation? Did I really give this situation enough balance? Why is it that my significant other thinks that it's okay for them to just get up and go to the East Coast to go work or go to the West Coast and work while I'm on the South Coast? You know, why would they think it's, it's why would they think that that's okay? For some of you Leos out there, I'm definitely sensing that maybe it's potentially possible that you did not let this particular person know that you were dedicated, that you were in love with them, that you, you did want to marry them, that you did want to have a family with them. And because you didn't let them know that, now they're, they're embarking on another part of their life. It doesn't mean that they don't love you. It just means that there's going to be separation between you. It simply means that there will be a delay for whatever reason. So maybe you see each other three times a month. Maybe you see each other, you know, three times every two months, whatever that is, but you're still seeing each other. They still love you dearly. They still want to create the balance with you. They still want to manifest a beautiful relationship with you. But there's something as it relates to you, you should have potentially for some of you, you should have made your your proclamation known. You should have put that particular energy out there so that you could, you could discuss it before they made the decision to say, you know what, we may work, we may not. I love this person. I love them dearly. But you know what? I got to do what's best for me. So in that particular case, while love is there, um, they they had to do what they had to do. Okay, Leos? Like I said, doesn't mean that you can't see each other. It just means that there's going to be distance between you for whatever reason. For some of you Leos out there, you are getting a divorce. And the reason you're getting a divorce is because of some Geminian or Capricornian energy for whatever reason. Um, for some of you Leos out there, it is... I'm sensing for some of you Leos out there, you know, you thought you had everything in the bag. And for whatever reason, now there's problems in your relationship. So you got to find the balance again. That's what you have to do because, you know, these are just general energy. So these can also be happening around you. It doesn't necessarily need to be happening to you or from you, but it could just be happening around you as well. Maybe the person, maybe you're fine with somebody going to, you know, the East Coast while you stay on the South Coast. And um, you're fine with them, with seeing them three times a month. But they're concerned that they're going to, um, they're concerned that they're going to lose the relationship with you. So it's really good right now, Leos, for you to have a, a, a significant and deep conversation as it relates to your, your love life. But again, for some of you, Leos, you, you are getting a divorce or you are... Um, you know, 
maybe you were supposed to get married and you're saying, you know what, I'm really not feeling it. Um, for some of you Leos out there, if you are married, you're getting a divorce. For other Leos out there, you may find that um, there was a Geminian or Capricornian influence. Um, you found out about something that happened kind of behind your back with, with your significant other and this Capricorn or Gemini, and your heart is hurting right now, okay? So that could be uh, what is happening at the present time. Um, but you have to find the balance. Remember, if this is something that happened way in the past before you were even involved with them, you've got to let that go, okay? It's over. It's done. They're, they're not with that person anymore. You can't hold on to that particular type of energy. All right, Leo, so just be aware of that. For those of you out there that are looking for um, a potential partnership, you might need to be patient. Wait a little while longer. Your heart still needs to heal from a past um, situation that had transpired for you. Maybe you're getting over a divorce and you just don't want to be in another relationship right away. All right. So what do we have going on for your general health? For your general health, Leos, you have the moon. As it relates to the moon, um, this is all about Piscean, Cancerian, and Scorpionic energies. This is all about the hidden, that which is hidden. Uh, there's potentially a secret that is going to be coming out about this Pisces person, this um, Cancerian person, or the Scorpio person. And um, it it hurts you, okay? The person that may be um, leaving you or may be moving is a Geminian, a Capricorn, a Piscean, a Cancerian, or a Scorpio person, somewhere in their chart, rising sun or moon. And um, this is what could be happening to you as it relates kind of like to your emotional life and love life right now. Um, for some of you Leos out there, you have kind of a secret relationship with a um, with a Capricorn or a Geminian or a Piscean, a Scorpio or a Cancerian, but you're not completely divorced yet. So that could be what's going on for some of you Leos out there. As it relates to the moon, for some of you, your the moon cycles affect your health. So you want to be really, really careful. You might be getting overly emotional with the moon cycles as well. Uh, for others of you, there is significance as it relates to information coming to light at the moon cycles. So for you, you've got the new moon in Libra and then you've got the new moon in Scorpio. This might be where that Scorpio energy is coming from. And the Scorpio energy is in your fourth house of home and family. So some of you might be making a significant decision and it will affect your health as it relates to where you live or where your significant other lives, okay? But if you can create the balance, you guys are gonna be unstoppable because you can create manifestation potentially and you can create that loyalty with one another potentially if you're willing to get on the same page and not feel like you've been hard done by, okay? The full moon being in your ninth house might on the 16th of October might have something to do with this as well. There could be secrets coming out about people, politica, um, foreign people, foreign lands. Um, that could be a different state. That could be a different country. Um, with you or your significant other, um, there could be occult energy, spiritual energy, legal law. There could be something for some of you out there, some type of secret is going to come out about um, as you're going through a divorce, it's like more and more information keeps coming out. And you're like, I am so glad I am out of that freaking marriage. I had no idea what was going on behind my back. But now that I know and now that I see this, I'm more than happy to get out of this, okay? For some of you out there, this could be lunacy. This could be, uh, you know, you might be dealing with 
a bipolar disorder. You might be dealing with depression. Okay, so please be aware. This is also about illusion and delusion as well. So somebody around you might be just delusional, and you're really worried about their health for whatever reason. So this could be what's going on with some of you Leos out there. You could be in radio contact with a Capricorn or a Gemini person. You could be in radio contact with a Piscean, uh, a, a Scorpio, or a Cancerian person as well for whatever reason. Or these could be aspects of your own self. There could be something hidden in your body as it relates to health as well. So if you're not feeling well, please go to your physician and get checked out. So what do we, and for some of you, there could be a heart issue for some of you Leos. So do what you need to do to create the balance so that you keep stress at bay. I am sensing for some of you Leos, you might actually be moving. You might actually consider moving between October 16th and October 30th to about, or, yeah, October 30th to about November 7th. You might be considering moving to a new location as well, and it might be by the water, okay? So what do we have going on for your uh, advice? Courage. Wow, Leos. Leos, stand in your person and be the courageous lion that you are. Approach situations respectfully and diplomatically. Take that risk. If you want to move, move. If you want to get out of a social scene that is no longer serving you and it's full of secrets, lies, backstabbing, and manipulation, get out. All right, Leos, this is what is happening, okay? Stand in your courage. Be courageous. Make that step. Take that risk. That is what your advice is. So what do we have? Um, and he kind of has a little bit of a defensive stance with him as well. So some of you Leos might be just a little bit defensive as it relates to these particular energies. So what do we have going on for your challenge, Leos? Your challenge, Leo, is talents. So these are either your talents or somebody else's talents. Leos, what I'm sensing is, is you did not realize what someone's talents really were. You didn't realize how powerful they were. This could be a significant other. This could be a coworker. You just did not realize that they had everything that maybe another company wants. And they are just banging down this person's door to say, please come and work with us in a very high position. Okay, Leos, so just be aware of this. Um, and that's a challenge for you because you thought that everything was exactly the way that you envisioned it to be. You, you had it, you created your own world. But what you're realizing now is that you underestimated the talents of somebody on your team or somebody that you love and care for. And now they're moving on. Okay, that could be your challenge. For some of you Leos out there, your talents are your challenge because you're darn good at what you do. And because you're darn good at what you do, you are at odds about what you need to do that is right, that is just, that is appropriate. Okay, so just be aware that that energy is there for you to address throughout October of 2016. So what is your Archangel guidance? Your Archangel guidance is comfort. I am with you now in your time of need helping your heart to heal. So for some of you Leos, your heart is actually healing. That's beautiful. So if you have any heart issues, that's healing. If you have a broken heart, that is healing. And it is healing by finding the balance and creating the environment that you desire to be in your life, working with what you have to create the world that you want. The angels are with you. They are giving you comfort. They are giving you time to heal, which is what it is that you need to do at the present time 
whether physically, spiritually, or emotionally. All right, Leos, I hope that you uh, appreciated this reading. Please leave your comments. I would love to know what you think. Um, thank you so much for your time to watch these videos. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.